Good afternoon, Kim community, and welcome back to Supercomputing 2024 here in Atlanta, Georgia. My name's Savannah Peterson here with one of our favorite segments to play around with on the Cube, our swag segment. I want to highlight a few of the fabulous finds on the show floor. It's a little bit of a game, if you will, between all of us on the show. We had Run AI on the show day one, absolutely fantastic segment. Definitely suggest you check that out. They had a basketball activation. Atlanta is a city of sports. We're all sports fans here at theCUBE. Actually, some of us even used to see work for various sports networks. So that's kind of fun. In addition to their basketball, they also had sweatbands. Now, I can be a little bit sweaty myself. Sometimes the set is a bit hot. You never know when you're going to need to make sure your face is matte. The guys do this for a lot of our guests all the time. Actually, maybe we should have sweatbands for our guests. Now that, I, now that I'm thinking about this, we could have cute sweatbands. Speaking of bringing the heat, there's this USB vaporizer and aromatherapy from Starfish. Now we've seen a couple different USB vaporizers before, but this is really nice. It looks like a wonderful little fireplace. It's giving me some nice moisture on my face. Convention centers are always really dry, but I also really like the pun and the language on the front of this, which says, take the rage out of storage. I don't even think that I had realized the word storage had the word rage in it, and now I will never be able to unsee that. But I could see this activation was very popular with Starfish over at their booth, and I think that's pretty exciting. Speaking of a popular, another popular booth, <clears throat> NASA is here. NASA is always here. There's the Department of Energy. There's a whole bunch of groups here, but a sweet NASA patch, a nice little meatball action, as they as they call this particular logo at, at NASA, is always a fun one. They had we had NASA on the keynote actually to kick off supercomputing 2024, and open science is going to power more discovery in our galaxies and solar systems around the world. So shout out to our nerd fam at NASA. We're really big fans. Last night. We, and well, all week we've had wonderful guests from Weta on, but last night we actually had the opportunity to go hang out and rock out at the Jimmy E World concert. I just want to say thank you to the whole WECA fam. They're one of the sponsors for us being here at Supercomputing 2024. And quite frankly, my inner angsty teen was incredibly delighted to be at the show. Now, if only I could have worn these all day to hide the lack of sleep that I got last night, would have been an entirely different story. But that said, these are actually really fun. I, I, I'm here for the rave glasses. Let me know if you're a raver in the comments. There's always fun stickers at these shows. And as we as we know, nerds love stickers. I, I get a kick out of the sense of humor that folks have with some of these. This one says, I do science. Very clever. We've also got, I love quantum science in a quantum state of mind, as well as one of my favorites and it actually matches my pin here is HPC Nerd. AWS did shirts of this version that we featured on the show at SC23. Very fun to see that they're moving beyond the T's to stickers as well as to pins. Speaking of pins, I've got some really great pins on my lapel here. I've got that AWS pin that I was talking about, the HPC pin, and I've also got my very cool Dell and NVIDIA AI factory pin. I got to tour their AI factory. You're going to have to check out my socials and my LinkedIn to see the video tour of that. Additionally, over here, we've got a Intel pin as well as the IEEE Society. I like that they went with the Georgia Peach and are definitely gonna be on theme. I'm hoping these become a collectible. Pins really having a moment as everything old becomes new again. 80s vibes are all the rage. I've got pins all over my jean jacket at home, so I thought this was fun, something that I'll definitely use. Speaking of things I will also definitely use, these nerd hats are now becoming quite the tradition at supercomputing. I actually have my nerd hat from last year, which is pretty rad. So I think I'm just going to rock this for the rest of the segment. In fact, you know, I might as well just go full incognito here for the rest of the segment and really have a good time. We love a good data pun here on the show. And I know that Rob Streche is going to really enjoy this part of the segment. He has a big data energy hat that we got at 
I believe it was Google Cloud Next. This is a fun one that says talk data to me. This was actually a custom hat activation going on at the Pure Storage booth where you got to choose between four different options and make your hat. I like this because it's not only customizable and cool, it's also sustainable. They're not just printing a bunch of hats that people then don't end up wanting. So very, very swag sustainable of them, if you will. And I think that's super awesome. Speaking of swag sustainable, one of the things that drives me nuts at events is how much gets printed on laminated paper that can never be recycled. These are one-time use pamphlets, brochures, advertisements, details for parties, whatever they might be, they get covered in this glossy film that quite frankly, will never break down in, in, at least in our lifetime, in landfills. And I really appreciate that, you know, we talk a lot about sustainable computing, but Dell really, really putting their money and their marketing materials where their mouth is here. This is a map to find their Dell AI factory with NVIDIA here on the show floor. And it is not only made of a, a easy to biodegrade paper, there's actually plant seeds inside of this. So you can, you can plant this in the ground and grow some flowers, or if nothing else, it's gonna break down in whatever environment it's recycled or or thrown out in. I think that's I think that's actually lovely. Speaking of planting things, this is a first for me. I've seen a lot of different swag all around the world with our wonderful segments here on the Cube, but this is a plantable pencil. So after you get your jollies out, sketching your invention of the future or mapping out what you're gonna do with your supercomputer, you're able to just drop this little ditty in the ground and Voila, grow some flowers. I love that. I, again, really can't emphasize enough how heartbreaking it is to see some of the single-use plastic and paper and accoutrement that ends up in the landfill after these shows. Very excited to see the emphasis on sustainability, particularly within the sustainability community when we're talking about sustainable computing, like I was talking about. I also love a great pun. And at a first when I walked by, I thought these were handy wipes. I'm so glad that Frank on our sales team went over there and actually figured out what they were. Total View uh, has a great pun here. They say your ultimate defense against bugs. These are actually bug spray wipes or, or bug repellent wipes. We're here in the South. It's known for having the occasional flying critter that may want to nibble. And I think this is really clever. It's, it's, it's witty. I enjoy the pun. It's useful. Uh, most of us travel to areas where there where there are bugs, and it's also just just a nice, thoughtful gift that I think a lot of people will take home and end up using or keeping in their travel bag for whenever they may not want to get not want to get bit. Wow, this is going to get real weird if I'm not careful. Uh, speaking of being careful, this is actually really interesting. This is a, a camera detector from our friends over at Dell. And right away when I started touching this, it made me feel like a spy. So security and privacy, obviously huge priorities, not only for us in terms of our data, but also in terms of the conversations that we have. So you can use this handy tool to scan your hotel room, your meeting room, who knows where else you might be to make sure that there isn't a hidden pinhole camera, particularly if you're one of these big companies having super top secret, exciting discussions about shaping our HPC future, you might want to go to the booth and pick one of these up. I love when folks are looking out for us both on the software side as well as on the literal side. So shout out to Dell on that one. Really appreciate them making sure that we're all taken care of and having a good time. Speaking of getting taken care of, a good water bottle is, is always a nice touch, but what's really unique about this activation is the Iron folks actually let you, you can see right here, and forgive my really fantastic drawing skills, the Iron folks let you draw on a tablet and then laser etched a custom water bottle for you. I think this is awesome because not only were I and the team able to hydrate here on the show floor, but you're also able to know whose water bottle is who if they all look the same. And I'd be willing to bet that folks are gonna take care of this one and use it a lot longer than they would have used other water bottles because of that customization aspect. So I made mine, of course, for Savvy at the Cube. Very fun, one of a kind take home. I saw a lot of people making, uh, putting motivational quotes on there, bringing them home for their families. Just a very sweet activation. It's also soft touch, which is, which is a nice touch, pun intended. Speaking of soft touch, this emotional support gorilla from FastX is also a nice one. You know, we we are we see a lot 
of different types of plushies and kind of funky things on the show floor, but they're not always super cute and super cuddly. I actually found myself snuggling this gorilla here as we started to wrap our segment. And I'm not, and it's not just my emotional support gorilla. It's also about what folks get to take home to their kids. All Every single person who's here for the most part is on a business trip away from their family, is away from their loved ones. And it's nice to be able to bring home more than just a t-shirt with a logo on it and actually bring home something fun to either play with like Run AI did or something to snuggle with for their kids or their family like this wonderful gorilla. I, I know that our entire production team has been enjoying the gorillas over there about as much as I have. So that's really that's really saying is something. This has been an absolutely fantastic show. I think it's one of the most interesting shows that we do every year. I think the swag here is also very interesting and you know, this nerd can't wait to come back. I just want to say thanks again for tuning in to our fantastic three days of coverage here on theCUBE at Supercomputing 2024. My name is Savannah Peterson here, hanging out with all the swag on the swag segment. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.